There is a brand new AI tool that could turn a single text prompt into a working application that you could publish on the web and share with anyone. And in the last couple of years, I've tested well over a thousand AI tools and I very rarely get blown away by an AI tool, but this is one of those cases. Okay, let me show you exactly how this tool works. It's called Replit Agent and it just requires a text prompt to go ahead and build an entire app for you and then you could publish that app. This is not a sponsored video. Replit Agent though require a paid subscription to something called Replit Core. And the Replit Core membership, I believe with the yearly option is only $10 a month and it has access to some of the best models in the background like Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So all I have to do is actually I'll use some of these examples they have. So here's a prompt gallery to show you how to build different apps. Here's a few different ones. Let's build this one right now as an example, link in the bio. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this prompt. And the prompt just says, make a link in the bio app which presents all my social media accounts. And a little bit more information here. And I could also attach different files to it if I have my own data I wanna pull into it. And look how this works. I'm gonna press start building. Again, it says it's early access, so it may have some issues. Okay, it's gonna open up this chatbot here, and this is just like any other chatbot, so I could have back and forth conversations with it here to improve anything that I see. Okay, now it's gonna give me this dialogue right here. It says, this is gonna build the initial prototype, but it says, would you like to add any additional option? And it's gonna give me a recommendation based on my prompt. So it says, ability to customize the profile picture in the link in the bio app. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. For this case, I'm just gonna check this one on and the initial app here, and I'm gonna go ahead and start. And this is how it works. Right here, it's gonna write the code. We don't have to actually look at the code. If you're a developer, obviously you could improve on it. And it's building the different directories of how these apps get built. So you can see new files are getting created here. Again, I don't have to know the structure of how an app works. I don't, I don't need to know the different type of files that get created, but this is making all the different files in real time for us. And in about 20 seconds from the time I started this, I got a working app over here. So here are all the links. Here is a profile picture, here's the name. And it says right here on the right side, can you see the link in the bio page? Are you liking the style and the layouts? Yes. Now it's gonna go to the next step, which is the other one I checked on, adding the ability to customize the profile picture right here, which is something we wanna do in an app like this. So I could also type that out. If I want another function that it didn't give me as that option in the checkboxes, I could say that, because this is just a chatbot here, just like any other chatbot that you're familiar with. Okay, so it just added this new section for me to upload a profile picture. So I'll just go ahead and click that. It takes me to my desktop. Okay, here's my profile picture. Let me go ahead and upload that here upload. Okay, not bad. So it's a little bit distorted, so I could have a little bit back and forth, but the function is working well. Okay, next I'm gonna ask it here to change the name to my name, Saj, and I'm also gonna ask it to change the link of this YouTube link, and then obviously I could do it to all of these links, all five. Okay, it looks like it's done that, so it changed the name over here. Let me see if the YouTube links work. Yep, it opened up the right page over here, very nice. Now, anytime I could also press this new tab right here just to see it in full screen or shrink the window down to see how it looks on mobile. It created a link for us, but this doesn't look great. So let me go ahead and close it and let me show you how to deploy it too. So right up here, deploy. Now this deploy, deploy to production, more technical for developers, but all it means is it's gonna let us publish this on a URL and then we could share this with anyone we want. So I'm gonna click this on this first one here, set up your deployment and I could go ahead and name it. This is your primary domain right here. And you could also add a custom domain after you deploy it over here. It's gonna let you know the cost because this is gonna be a working application. So it depends on which one you choose over here and it's gonna give you a different cost for that. I'm gonna name this sajbio.replet.ai. That's the domain that I could share. Any of this other stuff I don't have to worry about. Again, if you're technical, you'll have a better understanding on how it works, but if I just press deploy here, this is really a great way for entrepreneurs, marketers, people like me to be able to create these type of apps without actually knowing how to code or even know how to structure a folder here inside of any type of app, right? I haven't looked at any line of code and I don't even understand the folder structure all that well, but it took care of all of that for us. And now it's gonna go ahead and deploy that application for us 
so we could share it with anyone that we want. Okay, it took about three minutes or so, and here it is, Saja's app is now ready. The domain is right there, I could click on it. I could go ahead and choose a profile picture and press upload. The link to YouTube is there. I'll just upload these other links and deploy it again. So exactly like what we saw before we deployed it, but now we have it on a domain that looks much nicer. Now, if you go to the settings tab under that deployment tab, you could link it to your own domain here and make your own app available to whatever domain you want if you don't want to use the Replit domain. You also have an analytics tab to see what's going on with your app over here. It also has a resource section based on the type of server. You're technically getting a server right here and deploying that to your own server, something that's far more technical. Usually this will take a backend developer or a full stack developer to kind of set all that up for you. As you saw, I just clicked bunch of buttons after I had a one sentence text prompt or a two sentence text prompt and everything else hasn't been really technical. It looks technical, but I have a working app right now, right? I have a working app on a domain and I could customize my own domain. I could polish this a lot more. This was just a few minutes that got me to this point. So imagine business owners, marketers, all kinds of content creators, anybody that has an idea for an app could technically now create that app, put it out there, see how it works, see how people receive it and you don't need any technical knowledge really to do it. I really didn't dive into this Replit platform, which before was really designed only for developers. Now I feel like with this agent, it's going to open it up to a whole new audience and allow people to try out all their different ideas and put it out there in the world. So I'm really excited to test this out for myself. And we also have an entire e-learning platform called Skill Leap AI, and that one gives you access to all our AI courses. So on YouTube, I do make content, shorter tutorials, but we also make two to five hour courses. Typically we have about 20 of them on Skill Leap AI, and you get access to that with a free trial just to make sure it's a good fit for you. Typically, we have courses for marketers, entrepreneurs, content creators, and anyone really trying to use AI in their day-to-day -day work, and you get access to everything for one monthly subscription after the free trial if you wanna stick around. So I'll put a link in the description to that as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.